Hello Youtubers, this is my LED TV uh, brand Vivax and I just opened this uh, and uh, what seems to be the problems are these uh, LED diodes so we have, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 3 is 21 uh, LEDs connected in series so I uh, found uh, which were the, the faulty ones uh, this one and this one and what I did is uh, this is the connector from for this LED background lightning it goes in here and so uh, how did I found uh, which ones are faulty diodes I have this radiant charger which I used in my previous videos from my uh, from radiant electricity channel and I'm going to hook this up and it, it is uh, this radiant uh, voltage is very uh, forgiving so it can make uh, from zero to I don't know 200 volts so this is minus this is plus here we're just going to so you see let's connect this one okay this one are okay now this one Okay, we see that this one is faulty, but uh, it current go goes through this one, so we don't have to do anything about that. And we see this one here. And you can barely see the light. Yes, yes. You can barely see here. Let me turn off the light, so you can see this better. So this is the neon bulb, which indicates high, high voltage for this radiant charger. Okay, I don't know, can the, the camera capture this? Uh, you, you can see very little light from any, any diodes except this one and this one. And this is how they operate. This is uh, minus and plus for this, and minus and plus for this one. So, this is how it's working. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is just short circuit this one, the faulty one, this one, and this one. And as you can see, I added here a 1N4007 uh, rectifier diode, which can be uh, called 1 amps. And this is just instead of short circuit, I added this because uh, it can uh, bring down 0.7 volts. Uh, so it's safer and uh, regarding this one diode we, uh, I established it already has short circuit so no intervention here is needed so sometimes it's open circuit sometimes it's short circuit uh, you never know when it comes to diodes you can see yes and how can we see that, that uh, diodes are correct just wait a minute Okay, we should see a light coming from here. Okay, can you see this? Yes. Red is a plus and uh, black is minus. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's resume this. And now we are using this radiant charger to see uh, whether this works or not. Minus here and minus uh, plus here. Oh, sorry about that. I need to plug this into our wall output. Now we're talking. You see this glow lamp. It's minus to minus, plus to plus. Okay, and every diode seems to be working except these three faulty ones. And this is good indicator, so we can plug this into the, in the mains. Okay, just hold on a sec. Okay, welcome back. Uh, you can see how this circuit board is uh, looking. These are uh, stereo speakers, which I disconnected them. There, there is no uh, need for them. This is a LED uh, power source. You need to, to be careful when you connect this. 
it goes in here okay so I'll come back I'm going to go ahead and power this up this power button okay as you can see maybe I screwed up some uh, something regarding this LCD Okay, let's power this up. So it is still disassembled TV. Let's power on and see what happens. Just need to give it. Uh, okay, so it's working. But when I assemble it, I hope that it's going to going to work much better. So we see a boomerang here, up there. Yeah, no signal. Let's turn on the light. And this zoom is fucking stupid. Okay, so we have the menu. Yes. Okay, wait. Okay, it's working. Uh, so I'd say it's fixed, but uh, let's see how, how these uh, LEDs are operating here. Yeah, so it's disassembled, so it's working like crap, but when I assemble it, it's going to be much better. Oh, these are the diodes. It is a uh, background lighting, you see, three diodes are... Uh... Oh, it's not missing, it's only two. Two of them. Okay, this is easy fix, which anyone can do. Even this diode is not necessary, you can short circuit that, but uh, I did it for uh, protection and and so on. Okay, so stay tuned when I uh, assemble this TV again.